One, two. <laughs> I was perfect with that sound. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. And today it is Flat Top Friday. Woohoo! Yes, yes. We have a really cool guitar today. Um, this one, I believe he got at the guitar show. Or no, actually, this one I saw, it came into to the store and he kind of took a gamble on it because it's definitely a player grade guitar, but it's got some mojo and magic. Let's check it out. First of all, this is not the original hard shell case. So it's not an Epiphone. This is a 1940 Martin. <laughs> <laughs> I did it again! What was the last time I did this? You gotta keep it going. That's awesome. All right, let's go get it. Okay, go get it. This is the last episode yet. All right, I'll be back. Don't go, don't go dying on me. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's a 1940 <laughs> Martin D18. <laughs> Man, my parents will be calling me tonight saying, How are you doing? Are you doing okay? Because you are were you doing there was no okay? guitar in the case. Okay. All right. Well, really, really cool guitar. Um, 1940, obviously, great year um, for these, but this one's had a lot done to it. First of all, it's a 17 inch fingerboard radius. Um, the bridge is non-original. Looks like ebony to me. Um, but really, really cool. Um, what else we got? It's a refret, um, but man, so easy to play. And also, the neck is original, but the board is has been changed. Um, so the uh, where the ebony board starts, because this is mahogany on the back and ebony, the ebony has been replaced. Um, but it just plays great. Um, it's definitely had, when you first feel the body, it's definitely been, uh, sanded down and over sprayed and all these things. And you can kind of feel it, um, some marks on the back. You won't feel those cause it's got that kind of spray over it, but, um, it's just a really, really cool guitar. It had, had a neck reset as well. So like I said, when I say player grade, I really mean it, but why did he invest in it? Because the sound and also it, it's still prime time for Martin, but it's just got a really easy to play. Really open, kind of bright sound. I think this guitar would record really well. Um, but yeah, so, and I gotta say, you know, obviously it's always great to have those clean guitars, especially for collecting purposes, but a lot of times when you see a guitar that's had a lot done to it, it's because somebody loved it so much and how it sounded, that's why they played it so much. And I think this is definitely an example of one of those guitars that's been through the ringer, but it's because it's got this mojo and people can't get enough of it. So somebody will be happy with it, um, but let's take it out front and see what we can do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now that we found it. <laughs> now that we know where it is. Jeez, no one's gonna be pissed. All right, we're out front with the 1940 Martin D18. Uh, this is a player grade guitar, but what a special sound. Uh, we're in drop D today, let's check it out.
cool. Uh, let's stay in drop D and uh, really kind of strum it here. Let's see what we get. it from 1940 it's a martin d18 player grade but wow what a great sound and uh just a really cool guitar you can check them all out at normandrugguitars.com and also on instagram and facebook i'm your host michael emma see you soon <laughs> bye cool <laughs>